Hello people, I am Missionary and call me on page and welcome back to Probably News, the show that attempts to justify having shorter episodes by having them all revolve around one theme. Today's stories are all about Cactus Chris today, so I bet he's going to feel special after watching this. So without further ado, let's dive into some news probably. Probably news. First thing I should take note of is his own channel. The one formerly known as Pony FM Radio? Yeah. It's now Golden Star Studios. He has decided to take the channel in a brand new direction. He's decided to branch out to PMVs, representing other people by uploading their stuff. You'll probably hear a couple of my vocals in there soon. And he'll probably do brony talk, some gaming. You never know what could happen. But his Twitter handle is still the same, so you can find him at Pony FM Radio. Speaking of Golden Star Studios, he has also created a VidMe account. You can find him on vid.me slash goldenstarstudios and I'm the one that personally advised him to make the account because while his work does qualify to be fair use, I highly doubt YouTube's robots are going to uh, consider that before slapping him down with a scary claim on behalf of Hasbro. So I figured it would be a good idea for him to make the vidme account so that his fair use works can be shown on the internet and if Hasbro wants to fight him, they can fight him themselves. No need to hide behind any scary robots and threatening emails. And now the next bit is something kind of sad. The Yugiak doesn't want to be the Yugiak anymore. Now, normally I would listen and understand his reasons for quitting Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. Except with all the personal strife I've seen him through and everything I've followed him through and everything he's said and done up to this point. I mean, I know as a news guy it's not right for me to make my uh, opinions known, but in this case I must. Cactus Chris, you are a hypocrite in the first degree. It all started when he was babysitting me way back like at least 12 years ago. Um, he showed me Yu-Gi-Oh! We played together. We liked it. It was awesome. We didn't have many people to play with because we never really left the area, but it was fun while it lasted. And then he grew older and decided to go to Magic the Gathering and gave me his Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. And then we played Magic together for a while. It was kind of a weird hobby that we kept getting in and out of. Then we attended our events. We liked them for the most part. I wasn't liking the cost though. I wasn't liking how confusing the community was because like everyone has to start from the beginning but everyone's focused on the middle now. And even when you start you have to go from the middle. It's stupid. Then we quit Magic because it was getting expensive. Went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Started attending those events. It was awesome. I felt comfortable. But then he quit again because he claimed the community was a little toxic and then went back to magic. And after that settled for a while, we became bronies and tried to take an interest in the MLP CCG. If you don't understand what the MLP CCG is, just Google it. I'm not in the mood. Then we discovered that no one plays it anymore and almost no one sells it, so we went in a whole new direction. We tried Pokemon. Like, it was interesting, but it wasn't a game for me. And by the look on Chris's face, it wasn't really a game for him either. We temporarily went back to Magic, realized we missed a lot, and had to pay a lot. Went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! We enjoyed having a good time, but we took a break because we were going to Trocon. And now, He's quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! and getting back to Magic because he says that the game is meant for little kids and that he'll never come to terms with how grown men like it. Um, I'm at a loss for words. But that is now. That what I, The last part is happening right now. But... Unlike the other parts of the story where I followed him and did whatever he did in hopes of trying to make sense of what he's doing, I'm not going to follow this time. I'm going to stick with Yu-Gi-Oh! because I like it. It's my favorite game. It's my favorite anime. 
and I hope I can start reading the manga someday. I know he likes Yu-Gi-Oh! He may have lost a bunch of times, I've lost quite a few times myself, but he's not even giving, giving a new Link Summon mechanic a chance. He's writing it off as the new OP strategy, but in actuality, from what I've observed, it actually breaks OP strategies to the point where they're on equal level with everyone else. Like, you either adapt your OP strategy to links, or suffer the consequences, or just play old school. But he won't even listen to reason. And that part about him being a hypocrite, well, think of it like this. He says he won't enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's meant for little kids and it's trying too hard. Hmm, what else was meant for little kids and it's trying too hard? I don't know, F.I.M.? So, the following changes are going to the show from now until further notice. For one, Cactus Chris on this show will no longer be referred to as Cactus Chris. I'm gonna call him Hypocris. Because he's a f***ing hypocrite. And to show my appreciation for Yu-Gi-Oh! as the game that it is, the month of August will have its own theme. For the entire month of August, we will be celebrating Yugi Month. More on that to come, but first I gotta get the Read Your Comments video out of the way. And if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! and hate seeing innocent players leave like this after being bombarded with a few odd members of the community and the age limits of 8+, plus, then tweet at him. Tweet at Pony FM Radio. Tweet at Improbables Neo. Tweet at the yu gi -Ak. Tell him that Yu-Gi-Oh! is not what he thinks it is and that he should come back and experience it one last time. Hashtag save the yu gi -Ak. Thanks for watching this episode of Probably News. Sorry if I went off on my own personal tangent for a moment there, but I really had to get Chris's attention with this. New reading your comments video coming soon and then August will be the start of Yu-Gi-Month. And I'll see you later. Peace.